Hey guys, uh, I'm back again, you know, the usual. We are uh, doing some, how should I say, minor but yet huge stuff to my truck. As you can see, it looks like it's a part and about, falling, about to fall apart. Um, the first thing we really need to do to the truck, we needed to do was, here's right here. That's all my fuel lines and the EVAP. Throw that out because it's off already. But went from those junk rusted out lines to... Uh, AN lines, this is my vent, and here's the two mains, then it goes down to there, and uh, let me just show you the little one step over, how I did in mine, because some people do it there differently, but we're also cleaning the frame while we're at it, but my fuel lines go from there, then they go to here, and then, ugh, if I can even... Get it. They go through here, then they, you know they climb up to right down there, right to the fuel rails. And then if I can get out, oh, you know we're just cleaning up my frame because I'll get to that later. But um, then the fuel AN lines connect right to my fuel rail stock fittings. Well, uh, I'll get to that in a second. But um, yeah, it's nicely and neatly done. Just gotta tighten up these stuff, zip tie it too, you know, so it's not touching the exhaust. But um, here is the cool thing: is um, you can go on Amazon, order off these uh, off of EvilEnergy.com or from Amazon. They're pretty good. Uh, just a quick connect to your fuel system. Just plug and play. Just like uh, where are these fittings like from, from these, and then they convert it to a online, which is pretty sweet. I like it. You know, it's quick and easy done. And let's say, oh, I want to do upgrade a fuel system. You can all they they also sell a kit. I think they do. I'm not sure, but you can just buy a Walbro. I think it's called a Walbro for 450 dual 450 fuel pump. You just take yours old one out, throw it right into here. You have a conversion kit, and you're still running the stock fuel pump. You know, setup. Your AN lines can hold power, no no problem because they're. The AN lines, but um, let's talk about a little bit of the frame. I'm peeling off this, trying to peel it off, you know. Uh, it's a rubber coat that we did last year. Um, it's like a rust preventive coat. It's rubber. You do not ever want to use it. It, it literally ruins your frame. So, why well, I figured the best thing to do is you peel it off, peel your rust off your frame, whatever you need to, and just take um. There's a few things you can go. You can use this thing, which is an undercoating, prevents rust and everything, and it actually looks very clean. I'm gonna, I don't really got, they don't sell any more of those, like, from AutoZone, so I'm gonna try to use, like, bedliner-ish stuff. But here how it came out. came out very nice and clean. No rust like that fender is. Man, that, I gotta paint that too. But I gotta first clean it up and paint it. But yeah, that's how that is. But so far, that is there. And, uh, while that, we, you can see that there's no bed on it, because, uh, two reasons. Getting rid of the step side, and going back to the fleet side, and number two reasons, kind of going back to the fleet side, and, uh, I found, for a really good, really good price, a spotless from south fleet side bed that will fit on this thing, no problem. Um... We're just doing some small stuff to it before we get the bed on. Like, I gotta clean up this frame with a chisel and, you know, just clean it all up so it's all good. And, uh, yeah, and then we just paint it, like I said. And then we're, once after we do that, we can put the bed on, do all the other tightening stuff, and then we're gonna do the same thing with this side frame as I did to this side. Um, that rust was clean on this frame last year. That's what that rust preventer did, is it ruined it. And as you can see, this side is very clean. Looks like very clean frame. Because now it is, after I cleaned it off, and this is passenger side with that rust preventer stuff. It looks terrible. So, exactly what I'm gonna do to that side is peel it off, because it comes off like that, and I don't like that. And uh, put that spray on, and it should be good to go. But besides, that is the first thing we're doing. 
it's getting late out. It's getting late, so we're just gonna wrap it up and get more stuff. Hopefully, have the bed on and everything tomorrow. But yeah. Alrighty. Uh, I think this is like a one and a half coat I just did. It's half of a. It's it's no. There's already one bottle on it, so it's like two coat actually. Did one coat under the top. On camera, it looks kind of clean. In person, it's like it's clean for what for New York is, but there's still imperfections where it's like it's it's all right. But like this should slow down the paint or the rust. You know, rust is like cancer. You can't fix it. We can slow it down. At least what I say, but um, or everyone says I don't know. But uh, besides that, this is done. We gotta clean this garage up because it's a mess. And um. <clears throat> Roll pan finally came. It was supposed to come next week, actually, and it decided to come earlier than my tail lights. But roll pan is there. Clean everything up and get this bed on. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, so we are um, done with painting the frame. At least so I think I did one. I did already three coats. This is my third coat, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, this was. A good it looks good to me but if you're wondering what paint i used i used bed liner believe it or not i used bed liner on this just because bed liner is very protective and it, you know it's not easy to scratch off i use this rustoleum bed liner from like you can get it from autozone or another store but you know it's i use this so it's not rough i use the non-skittable one not skid finish whatever you want to call it so you know scratches are i used it in the beginning when i just started painting the frame and then at the end I can find, yeah. At the end, I use this thing for like kind of the finish, but not finish because I kind of ran out. Cause I just I hit the sides and tops, the main parts, and some of the inside. It's same thing but different kind. But reason why I did it because it says no peel promise. So I took my shot and make sure it doesn't peel. So that'd be nice. But it's looking way better than that other garbage rubber stuff that you can put on your frame that ruins it even more. As if that's right down there in my other frame. Can't see it, but yeah. It's looking way cleaner, much better. I'm happy with it. It's not the cleanest, like, you know, from south frame, but it's definitely okay for what's was been in salt. But um yeah, that's going good so far. We're waiting for this to dry and get the bed gets on it, hopefully. And now the bed is on after the frame dried up, slap the bed on. It's a this thing's so spotless that usually these rust out clean. Everything's nice. We got the roll pan. Everything's sitting there. Sitting just like how I wanted it. Exhaust sitting out. It's all good. Perfect. I like it like that. Something's off with this body line though. It's kind of just a little bit off. But like the whole bed's kind of just, I don't know, something they got to figure out. But it's looking much, much better than it was. Now it's got to get wrapped and... Yeah, I gotta figure out the gas tank funnel thing. It's in there, just gotta cut it a little bit shorter. But it's all good. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, um, well, now the bed's all done and everything and on. The frame's all pretty much cleaned up and all good. Uh, I've been driving on a few days and I noticed that this is just, this exhaust is really annoying. It's so, I have this kind of exhaust set up on it, which goes a Y. A Y uh, separ separator, whatever you want to call it. So it goes, um, it's a Y right there. <laughs> that electronic valve, quiet and, and just, you know, loud exhaust right to the side. This is nice, but then it dumps right here. I don't, I don't like that anymore because it creates drone inside the truck and it, it's kind of just annoying. So I'm going to cut it right there. I'm going to grab this pipe. Weld it up and everything like that. Feed it past the diff. And after it's past the diff, I'm gonna grab this muffler here, cut it off of that. Grab this, hang it right here. Get hang it off this uh, hanger right here. Hang off the muffler so it's kind of like a two muffler and it's more quieter. I'm gonna start it up when it's like without this, just, just to see. But I'm gonna just like slide it on, see how quiet it gets, just for, just when it's cruising and you're not hearing a lot of loud noise. It's better than those suitcase mufflers, but yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can do. Alright, you know that muffler is off. Don't mind this. It just 
Same thing happened on over here. I had to, you know, just patch it. The, the frame is clean. I mean, like, besides from some stuff, I mean, like, this is how the frame is. It's, it's clean, just like some... This is thick metal, but, you know, whatever. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's just see how it sounds with this straight pipe. Uh, let's... If I get out of here... Ow. Things. Let's uh, let's just give it a shot. See what it sounds like. It's gonna it's gonna start off the main exhaust real quick. Do this, and then we we'll turn it loud. Kind of too loud. Kinda nasty though, isn't it? This is more crispier. Oh yeah. Alrighty, we're done with the exhaust now. Um, we finished welded it all up, everything, so now it sits right here, wraps down right here. It's much more quieter and better. It's not as loud. It's in the garage, so it's a little bit louder than what it would be. It's not as loud, but again, it's in the garage. So. Not too bad. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this thing. Pretty much done.